Right, piston rings and pistons. Uh, let me get these checked before I uh, reassemble this engine. Let's get into it. Revelator Alpha. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha. A very quick video here, so I'm doing it on the phone. Uh, basically, I'm checking my pistons and my piston rings before putting them back in the engine. I've got a feeling they're absolutely fine, but I want to check the piston itself, each individual piston for damage, scoring, cracks, anything like that, and they're absolutely fine. Now I'm gonna check uh, the rings itself. Um, basically, I wanna check the the distance between the top of the ring and the, the base of the ring in the groove itself and make sure that it's uh, within tolerance. And each motorcycle will have a tolerance uh, and that will be in the uh, workshop manual, in the owner's manual right so you have to get a feeler gauge and you have to see exactly what it is i've just checked all of mine and they're absolutely fine so luckily no piston rings required at this stage the next thing is to take a piston ring off which you can see i've taken the top one off here and you're going to put it in the cylinder and then you're going to push it about an inch down and then measure the gap of the compressed ring in the cylinder to see so the maximum tolerance for my uh, engine on this kawasaki is 0.7 mil let me just see what it is in here okay so you can see the uh the piston ring down there it's about an inch uh, just about an inch or so and you've got to make sure that it's absolutely uh flat in there as well just make sure there we go and then i'm going to get my ring my feeler gauge and see if i can get that and just measure the gap and the feeler gauge doesn't go through the gap. Therefore, no, no, this ring uh, does not need to be replaced. Okay, so all pistons have been checked. All rings have been checked uh, for their gaps in the cylinders. Uh, cylinder walls have been checked. Uh, everything is good, surprisingly. I thought I'd have to change it all. But, um, well, I think it's just time to put all this back together and see how I go. But really, very quick video here, uh, just to give you an update on what's going on on this uh, project build. I've literally just got the, um, you can see there, uh, some of the gaskets that have just arrived as well for to rebuild this engine. I'm just waiting for a base gasket now, but I thought I'd take the time to uh, check all my clearances uh, on the pistons. I mean, you know, from a visual inspection, they looked good but it's always worth you know getting the proper measurements just in case you're, you're not sure and you'll get that out of a manual workshop manual for your motorcycle as well and you'll need uh, a set of feeder gauges as well uh, for that anyway hope you found that useful uh, well on to the next video don't forget to subscribe hit that bell like and share check out the website revelatorelf.com i'm going to get out of this workshop because it's way too hot tell her